Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And today, guys, Madden 20 is out. I've already posted three videos prior to this. This might even be releasing tomorrow, guys. But if it is today, make sure to drop a sub, guys. I'm trying to build up this channel, I'm trying to get momentum for Madden 20. It's going to be a slow grind. We got to get momentum back from last year. So I got to post as much as I can. Got to be top of the game. But, guys, if you're here, Make sure to drop 100 likes. Once one of my videos hits 100 likes, I will be dropping in a $100 bundle pack opening. So hopefully you guys can hit that like goal and we can just knock that out and we'll drop a bundle. And then if you guys get another like goal on that, we'll drop another bundle. Also, guys, comment down below. Say what's up if you're new. Also, guys, go down below. The link will be below for my Twitter link. Click on the Twitter link. If you guys need anything, DM me. Any help on Madden. And if you want to play anything, just hit me, up on, hit me up on Twitter. I'll make sure to answer you guys as soon as I can. I'm always on Twitter. Pretty active on there. Now, guys... What I'm going to be going over in this video is, I wouldn't call it a coin method per se, I'd call it the best way to be efficient with your coins while maximizing how much you can make at this stage. Because right now there's not much, right? There's not many solos, there's not many collections, there's not many ways to make coins, the auction block's kind of dead. So I have, I have multiple tips, I'm going to put them all together, I'm going to bundle them all together into a big package of ways to save the most coins while maximizing your, your potential and your profits. So... First things first, guys, start off with the objectives. I already did a video on that last video. I'm not going to go over it again, but if you go watch my last video, the objectives have tons of rewards. There's 20K quick sell, 25K quick sell, 10K quick sell, 10K quick sell, 10K quick sell, 5K quick sell, 2K quick sell, free elite players. So my best bet is to always take what you can get for free and then get rid of what you have right now. So there's two ways, right? I said in the first video not to sell what you have, but there's a little if to that. Only because if you come over to the auction block, I didn't really go over this as much as I should have because I couldn't really get into the game properly just yet. Where the hell is the auction block in store? Okay, so we go to the auction block, right? It's auction house. Come look at this. Finally, people are starting to get on, starting to post things. Let's go to 80, 89s. So right now, there's not many, right? These aren't really this price right now. These are just this price because not a lot of people on Xbox who pre-ordered the game can get on. There's a glitch right now. If you pre-order the game, you can't play the A-Access trial. So people are kind of just posting crap for really high prices right now. People And people don't have coins. It's very hard to have coins right now on Xbox. So these aren't the real prices. So realistically, these are going to come down towards the end of the A-Access to about 200k probably, right? When people start getting on towards the end of the A-Access trial. But don't sell though because they're not going to sell here. Yeah. They're going to not because they're going to have coins. They're going to sell for around 200k. And people are going to sell them because they want to get rid of the cards. So my advice for high over elites is don't touch them right now. Your high over elites, hold them. Because if you can put them up for this, you mean you could, you could toss them up for this and just see if you get lucky and they sell. But they won't right now because no one's going to have coins. But you could, I'd wait. They're going to go down. They're going to go down to like 220, 240. And then when the game officially comes out, think about it this way. So high over elites are being pulled about this much. The amount of people getting into the game is going to be like that much. So people are going to be constantly buying them out, buying them out. And the price is gonna, their prices are going to go up. Like that, while the elites go down. So it's like supply and demand. There's going to be really low supply of them and a very high demand. So they're going to go up in price a lot. But that's when it's justified. Right now, it's not justified because everyone just wants to get into the game, feel the flow of it, get coins. No one has coins yet. But once people start getting coins by the second week and people start buying things, these cards are going to be very rare, very expensive. I believe by the second week of Madden, these are probably selling for like mid 300s to 400s. And they'll legitimately probably sell depending on which one it is. Now you go down a little bit. It's 86, 87. Same, same boat. I wouldn't sell these just yet because these guys, like Robbie Gold, Damon Harrison, mm, they'll probably go up a little bit more than they are right now. Right now, they're expensive. They're going to go down to like, probably at the end of this week, probably go down to like 50K, 60K. But then, towards the end of the next week, they'll probably be back up to over 100K consistently and actually selling. So I wait on all of them. Obviously, if you have Odell, put him up for a million coins. Put him up. If he sells, he sells. And if he doesn't, you can wait till next week to see what real prices are. But the only cards I'd be selling right now are low elites for the simple reason of supply and demand. So the high elites are going to be low supply, high demand. Their price is going to rise once people start getting coins and the market starts adjusting because this isn't the real market yet. These are just people randomly putting up cards. Now, the low elites are going to be very high supply because people are going to be popping packs, getting their free elite players, selling what they don't have, pulling cards, getting free pro packs. So the, the, the supply is going to be like here. But the demand for those cards are going to be, they're going to be modest at the beginning. Like the guys who pop packs aren't going to even want them. They're going to want the higher guys. And then the other guys are going to want... Like, the lower guys who have no money spent might want them. But their price are going to be... The price are going to probably be 
in surplus. So right now, let's look at what they're going for. Let's look at the 80, 80s, 81s. They're going for about 10k right now. I wouldn't sell them for 10k. I'd sell them for more around the 20 to 20, 20k points. Like depending on which ones you have, these are guys that are a little low. Put them up for around 25 to 30k. They'll probably sell. Maybe wait a little bit, see what people let people come on and get some more. But 25 to 30k, I'd probably sell them. They're not going to be much higher than that after launch. But they might even come down after launch. Imagine after launch that a bunch of people pull Golden Taste. These probably cards will probably max at around 11, 11k after launch, just about, depending on the lower ones. So I would sell them overnight, not now. Overnight, one of these nights, you sell them during the access, sell them for like 30k, 40k, whatever. Because come the launch, they're going to be a lot cheaper because there's going to be a lot of supply. People are going to be popping packs. And right now, Xbox is very messed up because people can't get on. But come next week, that's what you're going to be looking for. So my first part of this coin tip is to keep keep your high elites. Sell your lower elites, but for the right price. Now, if your high elites are a million coins, sell them. You should put them up there. They probably won't sell, but if they do, lucky you. I don't even know who has a million coins right now. Second part, you guys already got the objectives. Third, be smart with your coins. I personally do not recommend buying anything off the auction block right now. Unless you have a ton of coins and you want to invest in some high elites. There are some investment opportunities. Obviously, there's some investments, but it's too risky right now. The investment opportunity is risky. So just save your coins because this is what people do the first week. My friends included, I never do it. They'd be like, they'll, they'll, they'll do a pack opening, they'll get some coins and be like, ooh, Ryan Ramsick, like, I need a tackle. Buys them for 35K. Oh, I really want Ben Roethlisberger, 80K. They buy them all. And then in a week or two, when the game comes out, He's like 30k or, or or even worse you pull these cards right and you're like oh, i gotta keep them i want to play them eh, that's not really the move i wouldn't don't get attached to any cards right now the only cards i get attached to like i said are these cards right here i have a pat mahomes a khalil mack a deandre hopkins and aaron donald i get attached to those cards for now but and they might be more valuable if they can get x factor which i don't even know if they can get yet and the point is guys just this alone can make you literally millions of coins if you do it right I shouldn't say make you, save you a million coins. Think about it this way. You pull you pull three Tom Brady's, let's say, and you sell them all for 200K, 250K when they come down in the next few days. That's like 700K after reduction. Now let's say you wait. They go back up to 400K when the game comes out and people start buying them out, people start getting coins. And the, the, they're not as high. There's not many on the market anymore. Then you sell them, you get about 1.2 million coins. That's an extra 500K. Then if you don't buy any cards, you don't lose any money, you keep all the money you get because in the beginning of the game you get given a lot of money you get the journey you get the solos you get all the quick little random objectives that start popping up all over your screen because you're just playing the game so that alone can get you just just the solos solos objectives and everything up until about level 10 can probably get you 50 200k maybe even 200 like last year i made about 100 200k just playing all the solos and doing all the objectives and just grinded it out then with a the pack opening on top of that sell smartly Sell the low elites, hold on to the golds a little bit, unless the golds are really expensive right now. Let's see what the golds are going for. High golds are going for 2k. No, I'd hold I'd hold the golds for now. Maybe wait a little bit on the golds. Hold the golds. Sell the low elites, depending on which one. Wait, wait for night. And everything always wait for night. And then sell the high and then hold the high leads. Now, when you guys play the solos, you're gonna get the baker and the deacon. Save the coins. Save all the coins. Be like a bank. Save every last coin that you get. And then when the first big bundle drops, like the second week of EA, or the second week of Madden, when it comes out, and that massive bundle drops, everyone's popping it. Wait for the first market crash. That's how I play Madden. I save up hundreds of thousands of coins. Probably save like 300K. And then when the first big bundle drops, or the first big promo drops, and all the cars start coming down, I buy, I buy, I buy. I spend, I spend all my whole bank. I'm like a bank, right? I spend it all. Then the promo goes away. Car starts to rise back up. I resell. Now my 300k coin saved up is now 500k coin saved up. Then the next big promo drops. Let's say around Halloween, you buy all those cards. Everything starts coming down. A big market crash. You buy them all. Now you have 500k worth of cards. The promo goes away. The cards start coming back up a little bit. The market stabilizes. Now you have 800k coins. That is how by Christmas I had 10 million coins without buying a bundle. All those Christmas presents and everything I used. All those Ghost of Future and everything. So guys, that is the smartest way and the best coin tip I can give right now. Obviously, there's no coin method because a coin method would require collections and packs and glitchy little ways, but we don't have that yet because there's not much to do just yet with anything, especially with how many people being on Xbox. So anyone who tells you otherwise is gonna be kind of hard on Xbox right now. But take this as you will. This coin tip right here is gonna save you guys. Just, it's, it's pretty much don't make a dumb decision. Save your coins, be smart with what you sell, invest properly. 
that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed if you're new to the channel make sure to drop a sub trying to grow probably the fourth video for today i might even be posting it tomorrow because i'm gonna be busy tomorrow so i'm trying to pre-record a little bit that's about it guys if you haven't already drop a like let's get this video to 100 likes and if we can do that i'm gonna be dropping a 100 dollars bundle opening and if we can hit even more i can do a 200 dollars bundle opening and so on and so forth guys so thank you so much make sure to comment down below hit me up on twitter i'm out see you guys in the next video